malignant order dissection. This is a second part in which I will be dealing only with the treatment. Now, case once diagnosed, it needs admission because of so many reasons. Because the treatment is going to be long, not weeks, maybe months together. And we need to give IV antibiotic. And so many different department is going to be concerned with this, like ENT doctor, then you have a physician, endocrinologist, neurologist, likewise for facial uh, physiotherapy and of course the nephrologist too. So you have a team of doctors who, who is going to treat you. You need admission and with all the investigations over, we have to suction clean the ear properly and remove all the pus. Once that is done, we need to apply ear drops, three drops, three times daily, till the doctor tells you that will be going on. Then, at the same time, you have an IV antibiotics, not single, you have a combination of antibiotics. At this point, please bear in mind, you need a lot of cooperation from your side and a lot of patients too. Patient should have patient, likewise the bystanders too. You know why I am telling you this? Because you are going to stay in the hospital not for weeks, for months together. That's why. Not only that, for every second day, third day, you are going to have some blood test to be done. And to add up to the problem, we need to change a cannula, which uh, cannula from one, we have to change it from one hand to the other hand. Because if you have the cannula through which you uh, inject the antibiotics, if you have the cannula for more than 3-4 days, there is a high possibility that the vein may get in, infected. So we need to change the cannula. So you have so many multiple pricks too. So you need to have a lot of patients. Why I am telling you that? At the same time, in spite of doing all this, you don't expect a drastic change in the patient. He will have the complaints will come down only after so many weeks, not in days. That's why I am telling you that. The antibiotics will be a combination of antibiotics every day of course and you have as the patient has got pain we need to give pain killer and the pain will be mainly in the night so you will get the main dose at the night and is always best and we always prefer that we start with the simplest of the painkiller and we slowly escalate and if necessary the special doctor who is concerned with this pain management he will come from the pain, uh, pain clinic and he will also look and he can also advise you. Now, the most important thing along with the antibiotic is a strict control of your blood sugar. That means from your side you will be on diabetic diet only which is provided from the hospital and please please do not bring anything from home or outside that hampers your blood sugar level. So from your side it will be strict control of your diet and from our side we will be giving insulin and other necessary medications as necessary. Now, if you ask me, is that the treatment antibiotic? Of course, yes. The mainstay of treatment is antibiotics. Along with that, if you ask me, we can, as an adjuvant treatment, we can give hyperbaric oxygen therapy too. How does it work? Here we have a chamber in which we make the patient lie down. And to give a small introduction about this, let me tell you, that normally we breathe in about 21% oxygen in at most normal atmospheric pressure. Inside this chamber, you will breathe in 100% oxygen at a pressure of 2.5. You know how much is 2.5 atmospheric pressure? It is like a swimmer, he is about 15 to 20 meters from the sea level. Just imagine the pressure. So that much of pressure will be built up in this. So 100% oxygen along with 2.5% pressure. And he will be exposed to about 70 minutes. Like 20 minutes session exposure, 5 minutes gaps, another 20 minutes session, 5 minutes gap, another 20 minutes session. That is one day of 70 minutes. Likewise, you need to have 7 to 10 sessions. Will this help? This may help. It is not the treatment, it is an adjuvant treatment. And there are, there are so many contraindications, indications, precautions for this. 
please watch my separate video which is just on this topic alone hyperbaric oxygen therapy if you want to know the details about it so that is about hyperbaric oxygen therapy do you have any other modalities there are new creams which are available in the market and some which are research is still going on for local application here likewise you have a complete facial nerve palsy and there is a possibility if necessary we can do a decompression of the facial nerve walls that is also a possibility but that is secondary and we will be mainly concerning only about eradicating the disease now response to treatment the first response on the patient side will be he will say the night pain ear pain which he had the severity of that has started decreasing that is one at the same time when you do a blood test the inflammatory markers the level would have come down so at this time when you do a gallium scan this is a scan which i told you that i will mention later on so this gallium scan is the one which has to be done at this stage to see whether the patient has improved so if this comes negative means he has improved likewise if you if not gallium scan we can do a positron emission tomography scan too if it comes negative means he has improved that doesn't mean we are going to stop the treatment we will discharge you on follow but you need to take your oral antibiotics till later and you will be on regular follow up what about the disease recurrence is there a possibility yes there is high possibility what are the common causes for that one is inadequate length of, length of therapy means most, some of the patients when they get admitted and they are there in the hospital for a very long time like weeks and months together some of them they go into a stage of depression also there's a there's a possibility so in that case they get discharged against medical advice and the therapy or medication is not complete these patients there are high possibility that it may recur second one is the pseudomonas organism it is very virulent it can develop resistance against antibiotic in that case too after what we think is complete treatment it may recur back again after one month or so so what will be the complaint of the patient the patient will start getting pain in the night nocturnal pain so when you repeat the inflammatory markers you will find a rise of inflammatory markers so at this stage the doctor may advise you gallium scan or pet scan to be repeated and if it is positive the whole process starts again so we have a disease which started as a simple external uh, ear infection it has become aggressive it has gone up to the involving the skull base near to the brain and the mortality rate is very high so it's it is best to prevent rather than to treat it so the prevention is any patient who is immunocompromised it is best that please do not manipulate your ear with any sort of object even with earbuds and if suppose by any chance you need to clean your ear say say for for wax you have to first soften it the doctor will give you ear drops so wax uh, dissolving ear drops which you need to apply three drops three times daily for three days and make it soft and come back to him again and become soft is very easy for him to remove it and whenever you have this condition the doctor suspecting early diagnosis early treatment it gives a good cure rate then always your primary condition like say for diabetes it should be it should be under control the blood sugar should be under control and last issue you should be on regular follow up with the doctor why like i have mentioned there is a possibility of recurrence so the first the doctor may call you every 3 months and when you see that you are free of disease he may call you after 6 months and like that your time interval goes on so this is in short about malignant nodularis extrema so if you like my video please do not forget to subscribe and click on the like button thank you so much